Hello, welcome to Local Rock Talk. Uh, we have a guest tonight, Doc Roots. Yes. Welcome to the show. Thank, Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good to be here. Yeah, thanks for coming on. Well, anyways, let's talk about the your <coughs> new band members that we have. Well, my name is uh, Jocko. I'm the new drummer in the band. I've been with the band probably about, I'd say, three, four months. Uh, I've been playing drums since I was 19. It's a number of years. I'd say about a good uh, 45 years anyway. But I always loved rock and roll, you know. Yeah. And uh, it's a pleasure playing with the guys, you know. It gets me back into feeling like I used to feel when I was younger. Makes me feel good. You know, even though I'm getting older now, but ah, I still yeah. love it, you know. He's an the, awesome drummer. There's a certain oh, thing about music. It has a certain feeling. When awesome. A certain feeling then, you know, when you're playing with band members, there's a certain connection, like, yeah. you know. Sure, definitely. Yeah. And uh, I'm glad I'm here. And uh, they call me Jocko. Jocko. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was Coco, I think. I Coco. <laughs> or Paco. 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 Taco. Taco. My granddaughter. My granddaughter calls him Taco. Uh, she's like two and a half. She's, she's so cute. I'm Brian Beck. I play bass. Uh, I've been playing since I was about eight, so that's like 40 years. Wow. Uh, I never really played anything else, so I'm devoted to the bass. I don't. I love the bass guitar. I love jamming with this guy on drums. We're from the same like mindset. And Barry, and fingers just land the same place. We got the eye contact. These guys are great. They're great. I've been with the band two weeks, and I'm completely impressed on every level. Awesome. Well, it's good to meet you both. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and welcome to the band with them. Yes, sir. And Johnny kicks ass too. Oh. Best front oh, man. Thanks, That's man. the best. I do have this CD, and that that sounds good. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we're we'll, uh, we're happy to have him. No He's doubt. He's like Iggy Pop meets Johnny Cash. <laughs> 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 it's different. Oh, all right. Yeah. All right. So you guys played at Moonshine this this past weekend, right? Yes. Yep. Yes. Yep, a country bar, but um, we made it work, right, Matt? <clears throat> yeah, we did. Yeah, we um, That's good. we added about. We do a lot of cover songs as well as original songs, and uh, we um, we added probably around twelve country songs. We had a couple, um, two or three, and then we added about eleven, twelve more, and we did the better portion of those, um, maybe about eighty percent of those. 75% of those uh, the other night. And we just kind of put our own little twist on them, though. You know, it's still, <clears throat> no matter what I do, my, well, it, I definitely was toned down for this show, but no matter what I do, it, my, my metal background always, like, comes through, no matter It does, what. it bleeds through, but it's good, it, though. It bleeds, it's, it bleeds through, but, uh, you know, it's, um, I remember one time we were playing at Garrison's in, um, was that Bill Redding? No, oh. Bill Ricker, right? Bill yeah, Ricker, yeah. Ricker. And uh, a friend of the old drummers came and said, uh, "You're um, we played a couple like '70s songs, like Can't You See, and some '70s stuff." And he's like, "You know, you, you have a lot of distortion. You're like on on those '70s songs." And he's, "I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry." He goes, "No, don't change it. <laughs> you know, don't <laughs> don't change it." And yeah. uh, I kind of that kind of stuck with me a little bit. I mean. Um, you know, it's not uh, crazy distortion or like, you know, obviously you're doing a 70 song, can't you see? You don't want to make it too, necessarily too heavy, but um, but I always, have, I always have that edge to me, you know, no matter what kind of music I do. Um, but, um, you know, we, it's just, uh, we, we, we don't, I be we believe uh, music doesn't have any boundaries, you know, and. Um, That's the most kind of music. Yeah, and so I don't, I don't think, I don't think li uh, music should always be even labeled necessarily, um, I guess, um, to a certain extent. Uh, but you know, it's it's we uh, we made we made it work, yeah. So we, we're actually thinking about incorporating um, what we did the other night into a new sound for our originals. Like I was mentioning to you off the air about um, maybe along the idea of Kid Rock. Um, there's a band called Upchurch in the South. Um, and they're really, they have a lot of, they, they do like rock, they have a lot of Alice in Chains influence, 
but they're more of a country rock type of, and some of their songs are, are, are fairly hard hitting, but you can still tell it's got the country roots to it. So um, we're kind of thinking about running with that, you know, and just kind of going a little bit different direction. So um, like a fusion of you know, our, with country. our favorite, you know, the, what our. Uh, and he, it's funny because he grew up, his two favorite bands growing up were Metallica and Goth Brooks. No, Metallica and Johnny Cash. At, well, oh, and then, but and Goth, Goth Brooks, Brooks became in the 90s, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. it's just kind of a... So metal country, old country. Metal country, you know, yeah. so it's kind of a... <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's a weird thing, but, um, but anyways, I'm sorry, that one question I went off, but go ahead. Ah. That's me. <laughs> I talk a lot. Well, anyways, how did you get the name? Up the band. All right, good one. That was. I've been wondering that to, too. Well, so when I first met Barry, I was doing music on my own, um, just recording. And uh, I met him actually at my neighbor's cookout. He was teaching my neighbor's daughter guitar. We got talking about music, and he told me he used to uh, play in several bands, and I've never sang in a band, never. I've done karaoke, that's about it. And so we made, an, uh, we're like, well, why don't we get together, you know, whatever. So I think it may have been the day after, or maybe, was it the day after we met? It was yeah. It was a couple of days after, I think, yeah. Yeah. It might have been the day after, I don't know. And he had a couple of things that, he has, that he's written already on guitar, and he wanted to see if I could put words to it. And that first meeting, we wrote two songs, and uh, do you remember that one? Mm -hmm. Well, the, oh, to I, be truthful, it was probably the second, the first me meeting wasn't even about when we met up, was about computer stuff. I was wondering that's how to right. do yep. um, some certain code or something like that. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't even remember. It was something to do with websites and, you know, because I, I have a master's degree in IT, and I at the time I was thinking, you know, I was going to switch from my regular career to the IT world. It, it, it didn't really happen. Um, <laughs> now I'm paying all this money for a degree, but <laughs> real estate's my normal, normal thing. Real estate came back. I didn't go into that. But at the time, I still had aspirations of why, Lord knows why, going into the corporate world. Um, <clears throat> but that was the first meeting. The second meeting is when we was started. Was the music, yeah. It was the music, yeah. So. And it just, it just blossomed from there. Um, we right. ended up starting a band with um, kind of splitting your two bands into... Right, I, I had a band called um, Truman's Way. Truman's Way, yes. It was almost kind of like a bare naked ladies type of deal. Um, now I look back at it, I'm kind of, I mean, all right, it was a good experience, but it wasn't necessarily my type, uh, type of music, but um, it was a good experience. I did it with somebody that was a long friend that had moved away for years and years and years and had moved back, and so that was kind of good. We kind of reconnected there, but... Um, um, <clears throat> but he started writing songs with me, and a couple times he came to the gigs and, f you know, got up on stage, and we did a couple songs that we were working on together. Um, <clears throat> slowly, the other band started to dissolve, um, and um, and at the time I was a little confused, but I, it all like turned out for the best. It, we I just kept running with him and writing songs, and then we, you know, added a drummer, we added a bass player, and. Uh, but to, to your question, Doc Roots is... Was because, yeah, the stuff that I had written in the past was uh, <coughs> more um, melodic, um, somber sounding, like 90s sort of, 90s grunge. So Doc Roots, and a lot of, actually is a lot of the material that I wrote, um, which I think is the case for every songwriter mm -hmm. is, you can only write about what you know, you know, so yeah. if not for miserable women yeah, <laughs> in right. my life, I'd have no material. Well, he had a tough upbringing in Haverhill, you know. And yeah, um, it, but you can, you can rise above it. I mean, you can rise above it, and so it's more than just the songs he was right. writing, which were sort of, I guess you could call semi-depressing or whatever. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it's, Relatable. It's more, everybody has uh, skeletons in their closet. They all have dark secrets or... Yeah. Uh, dark issues that they may that that hopefully they're able to rise above you know um, yeah. some people are not some people are uh, Johnny has risen above you know that um, <coughs> and he still doesn't have a very easy life but he's <laughs> this guy is it always is he's is. always positive you know um, but nonetheless so it's, it's it's more about people that are that that have I mean no one's perfect we all have our secrets we all have our skeletons in a closet so to speak so that's kind of 
um, where the name came from. So yep. yeah, awesome. Yeah. All right. So um, if you can choose your dream lineup, what bands and artists would you be playing with? <laughs> if we could tour with a band, you mean, or yeah, like like a chose chose your dream. Like a lineup and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Like to to, to like <laughs> again to like tour with it. Like play if we had a lineup of bands we wanted to play with. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you guys want to individually I, or as a group? Yeah, as a group. Yeah, oh yeah, that's a good question. As a group, like if we want yeah, like, like a like a band. Together. Yeah, to play yeah. with. Yeah, I may not be just playing with these say, guys. He's gonna say Cream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say Cream because that's the band I grew up on. Cream, Mountain, Black yeah. Sabbath, Hendrix. Yeah, you know, uh, Santana, mm -hmm. Jeff Beck group, the bands from the Led Zeppelin, yeah. the bands from the late 60s, early 70s, 10 years after, yeah. stuff like that. Now I'd probably want to play with uh, Rush, uh, ooh, especially Rush, you know, yeah. they're great. Right. There's a lot of great bands out there, you know, they, especially, you know, they made it, a lot of bands made it, which is cool, you know. Right, right. I'd even play with Bon Jovi. I'd even play with Kiss. I'd even play with, right. you know, yeah. even some of the commercial bands you hear on the radio today. You ah. know, Shine Down or whatever. Shine Down. Iron yeah. Maiden. Cool. I'm kind of into that hard rock scene, you know. But you have the 70s background, 60s, yeah, 70s. Yeah, yeah, late 60s, 70s backgrounds. Yeah. Yeah. Especially Queen. They were my, we idolized them, you know. Yeah. When I was young, I was in a three-piece original band, and that, and that was the band we idolized. Jack Bruce, Ginger Baker, and Eric Clapton, you know? All right, yeah. I, I, I tried to make it once, and I almost did. We got hooked up with a producer called Felix Papalotti. He produced Cream's Israeli Gears album, and he also uh, played with a band called Mountain. If you remember, he was the bass player. Hmm. Leslie West was the guitar player, Corky Lang on drums, Sneep Knight on, uh, on organ. Uh, at that time, I'm not trying to toot my horn, but I was only like 21. Uh, we had oh, went to New York, recorded five songs in the studio on 42nd Street. And uh, we, I found out where Felix lived. He lived on Nantucket Island at the time in Massachusetts. And uh, he somehow we went, we went to the post office down there on, on Nantucket Island. We found out where he lived. I knocked on his door, and we didn't know him. He knocked on his door and he invited us in. <laughs> and he wow. listened to our tape. Well, it's pretty cool. It was pretty uh, heavy, so, you know. And then he said, well, you got to get some more ballads. So he went after that, we went back to Massachusetts, uh, Lawrence, Mass, where we rehearsed. And, um, about two weeks after that, the band broke up. The bass player broke the band up. It was kind of sad because we put, like, you know, three years of rehearsing, six nights a week, you know, three, four hours a night. We're just working on original material, nothing else, nothing else. Jamming, we jammed a lot to get to get our songs and put them together through jamming parts, you know. The lead player and the bass player did the vocals. I did the drumming. But it was kind of sad. I ended up fi have, finding a girlfriend after that, and I missed a couple of practices, and the bass player, you know, decided that the band was done. And uh, hmm. the funny thing after that, he ended up in a cover band and he never made it either. <laughs> but <Wow>. uh, <laughs> I still, you know, to this day, I, I still regret it. I still regret it. And I don't know if I regret having a girlfriend or I regret him breaking the band up because I had a girlfriend, which I thought was ridiculous. I mean, right. I'm a man, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, and uh, it was kind of ridiculous. To this day, I still hold a little grudge against them, but... I don't see much of them anymore, you know? We, we all yeah. hold grudges against all former band members for <laughs> very similar reasons. Yeah. Well, bands are hard to keep together sometimes. Go ahead, pick your... Um, I want to play with these guys. <laughs> and then this one other kick-ass band. It's an acoustic band. Matter of fact, I think they're going to be here tonight. Two for the Road. <laughs> oh, two for the Road. Two that's for the Road. A, that's that's all I want to yeah. play with. That's I heard about them, guys. It's acoustic offshoot we have me and johnny and sometimes he sits in on baseball he has been sitting in since he's come around well um, i use it as an opportunity to learn the set list right yeah because yeah. they play all the same songs just acoustic 
Yeah, you know? basically, exactly, yeah, pretty so. much, exactly. Yeah. Right. But no, so there's no uh, rage against a machine or tool or... Uh, uh, I honestly, know. Well, not yet. <laughs> I, was, I was in the Boston, like, really hardcore scene for a long time. I already played with the guys I want to play with. Yeah. You know, they're you all local. some big they're, names, too. Yeah, I don't want to say them, no, but well. they're all local, semi-big, and I was happy, but I'm done with that. I'm getting old. Right. <laughs> you know? Old. You Myself, know. Um, I don't know, probably, um, that's a tough one, really. Um, <clears throat> I, I, it, I mean, Iron Maiden is one of my favorite bands, so, I mean, obviously, that would be a dream come true to play with them, but... Um, you know, I, I, I don't know. I'd be happy to play with some country artists. I'd be happy to play with some, you know, uh, blues artists. Gary Clark, uh, you know, um, um, you know, maybe a, a Jeff Beck. Maybe, you know, I, I, uh, uh, I'd i love to play with, um, you know, uh, Paul Gilbert. <laughs> I, I mean, I just, I like it all, but go ahead, Johnny. I, you know, I never even thought about that question, yeah, um, right. but... Definitely Metallica, um, Megadeth, um, Tool, Bush. Um, yeah. If Johnny Cash was alive, he'd be my first choice. <laughs> the Doors, Jim Morrison. The Doors, there you go. Yep. All time favorite band. And, uh, but yeah, that's it. Yep. I mean, I wouldn't even. I like uh, all types of music, so it doesn't. Right. You know, I love the Beatles. Beatles? <laughs> I'm not a Beatles fan. <laughs> no. Oh. The monkeys. I won't play the monkeys. The monkeys. monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't hey, hey, really play monkey. with, honestly, what? is Slayer. Yeah. Well, that would be cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's heavy. Testament. Never, never played with Slayer. Oh, I used to have that. Well, anyways, when, when he mentioned about uh, Bon Jovi, I know a band who will open up for them. Oh, uh, yeah, Liz, right? Yeah, Anna yeah. Lockhart. Oh, yeah. yeah she yeah. opened up for, for his band. Yeah, down in um, Connecticut, right? Yeah, yeah like Foxworth, something like that. Yeah, Mah Mahegan or Foxworth, yeah. Oh, Liz Bills did? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah she's Anna great Lockhart. anyway. She's, she, yeah. she's a nice person, number one. She's a great singer. She's she's yeah. really oh, yeah. she's a great performer. Yeah. She she does two bands. Uh, she does uh, Anna Lockhart. Yes. Oh, and yeah. Liz Bills and Change. Yes, yes, yes. So, yes. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Liz Bills. What's up? Rock on. <laughs> Liz. <laughs> yeah, that's one. When you mentioned about Bon Jovi, that's yeah. what I want to mention about that. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's, that looks great in your Good portfolio. opportunity, yeah. yeah. So, anyways, you know a um, couple songs? Yeah, 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 yeah. Want to play a couple songs? Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's All do right. it. All right. Did you bring the tambourine? <laughs> I did not. Hey, <laughs> the man. So, as I mentioned, okay, so we're, we're probably going to be moving into a different uh, realm of music. Yeah. Um, and literally, we're hoping to go in the studio in February and, um, and lay down some of these new type tracks that we're thinking of. We're really just in the beginning stages of writing. Well, we've been writing, we were writing new material until... I guess the other night at Moonshine has kind of opened our, our our eyes that maybe again music has no boundaries, you know, and that maybe we should be doing something different. And and um, it seemed to appeal to some of the you know millennials, you know, and uh, they dug uh, it. They were dancing. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I it kind of makes me think that yep. we're gonna we're gonna go in this different direction. So um, but it's still gonna there's still gonna be that. Like I said, I can't get away without doing music and still. Unless I'm on acoustic, but if I'm on electric, they're going to like, that guy has a metal background, you know? <laughs> so, it's just kind of how it is. But, um, so we're going to do a couple songs that have been around for a few years now. Yeah, so, one, early um, ones that we've written. This one's called Never Too Late. So, we're playing our old stuff, and uh, we, again, we hope to put out some new stuff that's going to be a little different from what we've been doing and from what a lot of other bands are, are doing. So, we'll see how that sure. goes. But, again, with that, Never Too Late.
Everybody is a mule, some little more than others. It's never too late, no, never too late. It's never too late No, never too late To change your ways My shoe's too big for you to walk in My load's too heavy for you to carry You couldn't fathom Your mind it's unimagined To reach his own Chaperone. We all walk this road. Alone. It's never too late. No, never too late. Walk in, my load's too heavy for you to carry. You couldn't fathom, mind it's unimagined. To reach his own, no need for chaperone. We all walk this road. Oh, we all walk this road. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So this um, next one is um, this one's called. Uh, <coughs> I mean, obviously that one never too late. You know, pretty much like. You know, I, I mean, never it, too late it, to change. Never. I mean, it's, it's there is a three days grace song, never too late, and I know that one's more about the the, the drug overdose thing. Um, that I, I, I never too late is. Yeah, it's uh, it's about like um, it's never too late not to be an asshole. You know what I mean? Like. You can always be nice. We all have our own masks we wear. Right. Hey, like we were speaking of earlier, uh, skeletons in the closet. So mm -hmm. just uh, if you can just like be or try to be a better person. Um, change your ways. And change your ways, yeah. You right, know? yeah. This next one, um, Walking Away, is, well, <laughs> a lot of his songs have been done about... Um, it's about my ex-wife. Miserable... <laughs> miserable women. failed relationships or what happened yeah I mean, so it's again it's a, he has a lot of material to write about let me tell you <laughs> <laughs> i've been married for 27 years so um anyway so we're gonna, gonna do, say um, oh, well hold on real quick i uh, that's that's great man for someone like my my ma and my dad uh, well hurry up because we oh all right yeah. uh <laughs> still married but barry yeah. I, you don't never see younger yeah. couples do you know stay together through right. thick and thin and this guy well, i don't has, know how man, he did it He's a good man. Ah, go ahead. All right. Okay. So, anyways, we're getting different motions here from the people on the set. But, um, anyways, now we're gonna do this uh, last song. Uh, <coughs> walk yep, away. It's about away. Love failed relation. It's sometimes people think it's easier to walk away than stick in there and make yeah. it work, right? So that's kind of right. what it's about. So anyway. Pass on the way You live your 
life today Look at your life and say That I'm the one who's made you this way That I'm the reason you failed Well, you're the one who's been Pretty good at walking away No looking back, never nothing nice to say Pretty good at walking away No looking back, never nothing nice to say Truly believe that you cared for me. You really cared for me. Pretty good at walking away. No looking back, never nothing I say. Pretty good at walking away. No looking back, never nothing I say. Keep walking. You're not gonna believe this. <laughs> oh, wow, just Perfect. when it was going so good. Saved wow. by the string, man. Saved by the string, it was going good. No, I was, it was. Shit. Hey, it happens. <gasps> wow. I don't know. Well, nonetheless, listen. I can change it if we have time. If that's all right, it's up to you. Probably, to you. probably not. Running out of time? Yeah, I'm still running out of time. Okay. All right, well, I am sorry for all no, the things that happened. <laughs> um, damn. All right. Well, you got one song in there. Do you do some editing on this or something? Or yeah. Something? All right. Okay. They can well, make it. They can edit it to make it look like that note was the last one of the song. Right. <laughs> you could maybe, but uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> no, hey, it happens, man. What's that saying? Everything happens for a reason? Right, right, right. Well, those are... It was good anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, yeah. <laughs> it was going good. And then this happened, so... Yeah. You know, I don't know how these singers do it, man. They can sing sitting down. I have to be standing up. Yeah. Um, I say the same thing. How do these singers do it? I, I, I can't sing. I know a couple of local artists <laughs> that Barry and I have went out and played with. Um, actually, matter of fact, we sat in on a set up at Hampton Beach at... Um, was that Bernie's? Or what was that place we played at? Right on the beach, remember? That summer. Uh, right on the strip in Hampton. <coughs> Probably was Bernie's. Always it could have been Bernie's. Um, <coughs> I don't know if we can say his name. Could we? No. What's, you and I uh, was at, like, oh, Johnny Straws and Barry Wayman. Oh, oh, with Earl. Earl. We sat with Earl. Oh, okay. All right. I didn't know if we could say his oh, name on, was, on the air. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Earl, Lord. Uh, Earl Lord. Yeah. All right, what's the um, on the beach at Bernie, Bernie's information? Beach. They can contact you and stuff like that. Docroots.net. From there, you can get to uh, pretty much every everything, all our social media. Um, but if you're on Reverb Nation, ReverbNation.com forward slash Docroots, Facebook.com forward slash Docroots. Um, and then again, docroots.net is the website I'm in the process of building for the band. So, um, How about Twitter? Do we have Twitter? Oh, yeah, we have Twitter, but it's under twitter.com forward slash Johnny Straws, J O H N N Y Straws. Then Instagram. Uh, Instagram, again, Instagram.com forward slash Johnny Straws. Um, and. My space, we do have one, but I just, I'm not going <laughs> to give that out yet because <laughs> I'm going to revamp that. Um, we have a my face, as Bill Belichick would say. <laughs> <laughs> my face. But yeah, so any, any one of those um, social medias, and I mean, if you just Google 
Johnny Straws, again, J-O-H-N-N-Y, Doc Roots. Straws, Doc Roots. Um, you'll find all the, you know, all the social media that we're um, on. Yeah. SoundCloud.com forward slash Johnny Straws. So yeah, so that's that's about it. Yeah, there's a, yeah, there's, there's a bunch more, but <laughs> we can go from there anyway. Show, yeah, Reddit. Nice to one. Grab Nation and shows all the shows that we got coming up. Pinterest. Exactly, our schedule. You're right. Yeah, yeah. calendar. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. We have another two for the road. Is our acoustic thing. Yeah. Um, Why don't we plug uh, Friday, January 18th uh, with down Ray Rocks and uh, yeah, yeah, Ray, Ray, Rocks, Ray, Rocks, yeah. Ray Rocks. Ray Rocks. Yeah. Um, debut should be great new club, and as well, um, two for the roads playing the acoustic, and I think Brian probably be sitting in. Um, on Friday at Auburn Pits up in Auburn. Yes. Yep. So that's just acoustic though. That's yep. Yeah, I'm excited about that one. As a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. What about the? Um, you know, it's a good one. The, the open mics on Sunday. Hey, we do have an open Let's mic. Get that word out. We do have an open mic Sundays. We uh, host an open mic. Yeah. Host open mic. And Antonio's Pizza up in Salisbury and Route One. Pizzeria. Yeah, seven, yeah, to yeah, seven, seven to ten. Seven to ten. Any musicians watching us? Come on down. Exactly. Right. Yeah. That's a great. That's a great point. Yeah, we just started it. Last week was our first week doing it. Um, yeah, we played there a couple of times, and then we decided that we wanted to do an open mic, and the guy said, yep. So It's a great location. The room is awesome. So any musicians who do play, please come to Antonio's Pizzeria at Salisbury Mass or Route 1. Yeah. And it's if awesome. you need a bass player, I'll be there the whole time. Right. You will. I can bass follow player. anybody. You just yes. need a bass player. Just tell me what you're doing. We'll do it. I'll be right. there. He right. does. Backing you up. Never, I right. have to be alone up there. <laughs> Amen. All right. Well, I guess that's it for this episode then. Okay. Thank you for having thank us. You yeah, for thank you us. very much. Yeah. So, um, thanks for watching Local Rock Talk. Until next time, rock on and support Dark Roots. Thank you very much, everyone, thank you. for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching Local Rock Talk with your host, Paul Zagreeli. Until next time.